I have spent several days on and off meticulously sketching out the facade of the Buckhorn Bass Motel. And right now, I mean, um, this is kind of in a state of disrepair. And so there's a lot of interesting like textures and the paint's peeling and all this. So there's quite a lot to capture here. But right now I'm just trying to kind of get the outline so I can start doing the pen drawing. And I, it's just it's just taking forever. <laughs> there's just so many details. Like I still have to do this whole pillar and look at all those bricks. And I mean, I could just kind of draw something in there that kind of looks close, but part of what's cool about it is the brickwork. The brickwork is fascinating. Like, it really does look like this. Like, it's amazing. Totally weird. Um, and the lettering took me a really long time because there's like a different font for every single thing in here. And it's actually like a neon sign, so when I draw it in with the pen, I'll, I'll put the, the neon tubing in there too. Those are palm trees. So, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be like a quick thing, which, you know, that's always a joke, right? Of course it's not quick. <laughs> and my plan is to go in with pen and do all of the shading and lines and whatnot, and then I think what I'll do is use some watercolor pencils, because this is mixed media paper. Uh, I'll use some watercolor pencils to kind of bring in some of the colors on the sign work because there's some cool like turquoise and that kind of a thing in there. And the, the buck itself is pretty entertaining too.
Okay, so I've finished the initial sketch. This spot right here is gonna be bush. Um, and now I'm ready to start shading. This is like the fun part. So in this piece, I'm really trying to emphasize texture a lot. So that's what I'm gonna be going for, especially like in this lettering, for instance, it's um, in the real photograph, it's, it's very like worn. A lot of the paint is peeling off and you notice some of the, the, the neon signage is starting to fall apart. So I'm gonna try and show that a lot. Um, and I'm not done with these palm trees either. I was just kind of marking where they are. And there is a cloudy sky and I haven't really decided how I'm going to do that yet.
So here I'm using a scrap of the mixed media paper that I'm using for the drawing and I'm testing out the colors of the different watercolor pencils and I'm also testing how they behave with the micron pen. I want to make sure that there's no chance of anything smearing um, because I'm using like a lot of layers of micron pens so I wasn't sure if it was really going to stay put. And I really wanted to see what colors I had to mix together to get some of these colors because I don't have a teal watercolor pencil and I have a lot of different browns and reds so I wasn't really sure what was going to work.
I've spent a lot of time contemplating this. And I've decided that I'm definitely going to need to put the blue in the sky. Although I'm not really sure if I'm going to do the whole sky or if I'm just going to do like this section maybe. I don't know. So I might just start over here and then see what else I need. Not really sure I'm going to color in anything on the building. I kind of like it being in black and white. Like I really want the sign to stand out. I'm also deciding if I need more contrast in the sign or if I want to leave it alone because the more contrast I add, the more it's going to remove some of the details and obscure them and I'm not sure that's actually what I want to do. So I think I need to see the sky before I can make that decision. Okay, I have finished it. Um, I really like how this turned out. I ended up adding a lot more color than I thought I would. It's still not like full, full, full color, but a lot of the colors are there. Um, and I think it's really neat, actually. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry a bit, um, and then I'll remove the tape and staples and do a final shot.